When it comes to choosing a wood fed pole brush, there's so many choices to make. You've got to consider what make to have, what size brush you want, what type of bristles, whether you want medium or stiff or soft bristles, whether you want dual trim or single trim, whether you want flocked ends, whether you want uh, sill brushes, whether you want square brushes, whether you want natural hair, whether you want uh, synthetic fibres. The choice is endless. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at some of the different choices that you can make when it comes to choosing a brush. So the first thing that we'll look at when choosing brushes is what the difference is between monofilament and flocked. Now the majority of the brushes on here are all monofilament with the exception of this one. This one is a flock brush and you can see when you look at the end of the bristles they look like they've been almost chewed off, they look, they're look they broken at the ends uh, and they almost give it a fluffy looking feel. These are more often used if you're doing something that's a bit more delicate, something like uh, leaded windows. Because it's broken, they tend to glide over uh, any surfaces more. Now, they have got their place, but because they seem a bit softer, it can be a lot harder when it comes to scrubbing. When you look at a monofilament brush, when you look at it under a microscope, the end of the bristle has been cut off dead square. It's just one bristle that comes to a perfect stop at the end. Uh, this one, that gives it quite a lot of scrubbing power. The next thing to look at is whether it's single trim or dual trim. So what's that? Now, single trim's quite old fashioned now, I think, in a way. Most of these are dual trim, I think, apart from this one, which is single trim. So you can see with the single trim, all the bristles are the same length. With the dual trim, you can see that the bristles in the middle are shorter than the outside bristles. The reason for this is when you press it against the glass, the bristles on the outside splay out and you press the middle ones onto it. And that way, the ends of the bristles, which is the cleaning part on synthetic fiber, presses against the glass all the time. The next thing to look at is what type of fibres they are. Are they a synthetic fibre or are they a man-made fibre? Now, most of the fibres are nylon with a synthetic. Uh, they come in various colours. Uh, if you go with the Gardner range, if you go with red, they tend to be a stiff one. The black tend to be a softer one. Uh, now, this one here, the bristles in the centre of this one, the outside bristles are synthetic, but the bristles in the centre are uh, natural. They're actually a boar's hair bristle. Now, the advantage of having a boar's hair bristle or a uh, natural bristle is the whole bristle grips the glass. It doesn't just clean with the end. So, and they're really, really grippy when you slide them on a glass, on the glass. So if you've got it up high, they do tend to grip a bit more on the glass and you can really feel that pull in when you're scrubbing with it. Now the downside with natural bristle is it does wear out quicker, uh, the bristles tend to break and if you're using it with hot water then the bristles go very soft and uh, don't really do a lot at all. The next thing to think about is the length of the brush. Now, my preferred brush is a 35 centimetre brush. This is a Garner Ultimate Stiff. I've also got the uh, Streamline 35 centimetre brush here. Uh, these are the perfect length. This is also a Garner uh, Ultimate brush, but as you can see, it's much smaller. That's the 26 centimetre, that's the 35 centimetre. Now, the difference is they're both the same brush except for one shorter than the other. So the difference is when you're cleaning a glass, you only have to do, say, three passes with this one, where you'd have to do four passes with this one to cover the same area. So using a wider brush does clean a lot quicker. People have said to me, well, with the wider brush, do you have trouble getting it in the windows? I've never had any problems, really. You can always turn it straight up. You can have it on its side if it's a narrow window, or you can always just use the end of the bristles if it's a really, really small window. But I've never had to change the brush since I've been uh, using the wider one. The next thing is the shape of the brush. As you can see, the majority of the brushes on here are square, uh, apart from the three here. This is the Gardner Universal Sill Brush, and you can see that it's curved. 
so that's really good so when you're cleaning the glass it also cleans the frames it gets really good for getting right round frames you can do all different angles all at the same time so we've got the two of those the Gardner Universal Sill this one is a medium to soft I think and again denoted by the red it's the uh, the stiff now I really like these when I'm doing uh, conservatories or first cleans the bristles on the side that splay out you can get those right between the sill and the frame so they're really good for that the other thing I like about it is when I'm doing fascias and gutters that goes up between the fascia and the gutter you can get that nice and far up in between the two because the bristles are facing in all different directions you can get right round the uh, the gutter brackets so those are really good for that i've also got the uh, gardner extreme sill brush now this is actually a really nice brush it's really light very good for doing uh, maintenance cleans you probably wouldn't want to use it on first clean so much because it has got so few bristles it's got the red stiff bristle across the bottom uh, now the only thing that I don't like about this is it's only available at the moment in the 26 centimeter which I think is 9 or 10 inches uh, it isn't available in the 14 inch or 35 centimeter as soon as Garner will bring one of these out which I hope they will with it at 35 centimeters i'll be buying one the advantage of it is it is that light you can hardly feel it on the end of your pole so that is the uh, the extreme sill brush i've also got the gardener extreme 35 centimeter now this is looking a bit battered and old now uh, it's the medium to soft so it's actually a bit soft for when i'm using my hot water but the advantage is it is so light fantastic for maintenance cleans at the end of a day when you're really tired bang that on you hardly know it's on the brush it's still 35 centimeters so you're covering the windows really quick that is a fantastic brush but uh, as i said that one's medium to soft i've also got a couple of i think they're vertigo brushes from ionix these are really nice brushes they're really nicely filled this is the flocked and this is the monofilament jewel trim uh, the only thing that I don't like about these is that the brush stock is made just for the hydro pole or the ionics poles uh, and you can't change it for your other poles. The rest of these have got a brush stock that just screws on and it's uh, you can put your extreme you can put your over eight brush stock on it you can put your gardener one on like that uh, you can put your phantom brush stock on it all they do is just screw on so they're really uni uh, really universal like that now out of all of these brushes which do i use the most well the streamline one is a fantastic brush really nice great scrubbing plower plenty of bristles in there and does a really good job but it is a little bit heavier than the uh, ultimate from Gardner again 35 centimeter it's quite a short bristle on it it's got the stiff center bristles which with the hot water I think are essential it's a nice light brush you've got your four uh, jet holes in it and for me this one's fitted with a bumper just to stop it from bashing against the frames uh, these are really cheap to replace and it stops the hard uh, brush from bashing against it against the frames and doing damage so for me 99% of the time I use a 35 centimeter ultimate brush from Gardner so I hope that's explained a little bit about what the different types of brushes are. Next week I'm going to be having a look at the different types of jets, whether you use fan jets, whether you use pencil jets, whether you use rinse bars, uh, we'll go through all of those. We'll have a look at the different uh, radiuses or diameters of the spray, the distance they come apart, whether they're 50 degrees, whether they're 100 degrees. The different thicknesses in pencil jets whether they're 1.4 millimeters two millimeters three millimeters and have a quick look at rinse bars as well so i hope you've enjoyed this and thanks for watching bye for now <laughs> dave's got so young what's happened <laughs> say it then all right
Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and today I'm going to show you what brush you need to use. 